Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing quite a big, huge book haul. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. <laughs> a huge large book haul to get through and I've kind of broken it down by categories so let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing I want to do is do my book of the month picks. I'm going to include both May's and uh, June's books picks. So the first book that I picked up is Before She Knew Him by Peter Swanson and I believe this one has to do with a either a woman or a married couple that moves into a house and they get to know their neighbor and apparently they find out something about the neighbor. I think they find something in his house that's tied to a murder investigation that happened like years ago. So yeah, that sounds really good. So I got this one as well. And then I also picked up A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCree. This was the actual book of the month pick. And then I got the Peter Swanson book by as an add-on. This one I think has to do with a woman who's, I think, ex-boyfriend. Um, I think they're both, both lawyers. And one day she gets a call from him saying that he's, I think, going being charged for the murder or disappearance of his wife and she has to represent him. So I'm not a huge legal thriller person, but I've heard really good things about this one. So I'm super excited to get to this one as well. And then my most anticipated book of all year, Home Before Dark by Riley Zager. I'm so excited to have like to physically have this in my possession because I've requested off NetGalley. I've requested like swaps and swap groups and I could not get my hands on it, but I'm so excited. This is the June pick. I don't know exactly. I really don't want to know too much about this one. I know it's got like haunted house creepy vibes, but I think it has to do with a woman who goes back to this house that her father wrote a book about and that's all I know about. So we're just gonna end it there. Next, I do have a order from Book Outlet. Now, before I get into this, this was, I had placed this order like two or three weeks before all the drama with Book Outlet and of course with the Black Lives Matter movement and everything like that. So please don't come for me because I did purchase these way before, you know, all the tea had started. What I have, I have no idea what these books are about, so. I apologize. I'm the worst at describing books, but I have La Last Seen Alive by Claire Douglas. I've heard good things about this. I think I think Jacqueline likes this author, or maybe it's Gabby. I'm not 100% sure, but I've heard really good things about this one. I picked up this one. Next, I've seen this one for quite some time, but I've always neglected to pick it up. I have The Perfect Sun by Lauren North. I think this one has to do with a woman waking up from like a coma and there was a tragic accident. I think her son goes missing and her husband has been killed, I think. Not 100% sure. And then I have I Know Who You Are by Alice Feeney. I know she wrote um, Sometimes I Lie, which I've heard and I started that book, but I was very uninterested in that one. But I've heard that it had a really good twist in it, but I've also heard people liked this one as well. And then I have... Michelle Richmond's The Marriage Pact, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I think this one has to do with like newlyweds and they kind of get into like this group and things go kind of weird. So I'm very interested in this one. And then I have Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris. You guys know I love B.A. Paris's Behind Closed Doors. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And I did read the breakdown, which I was very very upset that I did not like this one but I've heard this one is a little bit better so I'm very curious to get to this one as well I actually picked up two Colleen Hoover books because I love Colleen Hoover I got November 9 which I'm so excited for because people have told me like I've had recommendations that are like you should read this one and then you should read this one and then you should read this one so this one's next in line as well and then in my swap group i actually picked up regretting you which is her newest book um so i'm very excited to get to this one too i think this one it's been i think targeted as like a young adult but people have told me it's not a young adult book so i'm very much excited to get to this one because i love colleen hoover's writing it's like one of my favorite writing styles that she does and I don't even know how to describe it. I just love it. Also, 
some other books I swapped for. I got the Holiday. Why do I say that weird? I got the Holiday by T.M. Logan, which I am reading this one in the month of June. Um, this one just sounds so good. I love it. I put a I read the whole synopsis in my June TBR, so I will link that video, open the cards, and you know, whatever. But this one basically is about family vacation. Woman finds out that her husband's cheating on him, or cheating on her with one of her friends that's on the trip, and then I think there's like a murder. Oh. And then I actually got the Arc of the Dilemma by B.A. Paris. I swapped for this one. So I've heard not really good things about this one. Like Gwen did not like this book. So, but I love B.A. Paris. Like I feel like she's like one of those auto buy authors. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I've heard this is not really much a thriller, but I had to have it. Like I love, I love B.A. Paris. So, I don't know. Behind Closed Doors has just set the tier so high. And then I recently just got The Invited by Jennifer McMah. Yeah. And this one is also about, like, creepy thriller, like, a creepy mystery about, like, a possible haunted house and stuff like that. I know Jacqueline just read this book and she really enjoyed it. So I wasn't like that interested in reading this book, but I figured I could maybe do a video about like creepy haunted houses like Home Before Dark, The Invited, things like that. So let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations or if that's a video that you would like to see. And lastly, I have three books to talk about. I have Salem's Lot by Stephen King. This one, I don't know. It just, I'm kind of curious because I've heard it's about vampires, but then I've heard it's not really about vampires. So I'm not hundred percent sure. I watched Gabby's video and I've already forgotten like all the spoilers and stuff like that. But I do know that it is about vampires in this town. And this is his second published book from 1975, I think. So I'm very much excited to get to this one. This one is a little bit bigger, but it's not like 112263 thick. So yeah, this one I cannot wait to get to. Also a recommendation from Jacqueline. I picked up The Roanoke Girls by Amy Engel. I'm not sure what this one is about, but Jacqueline described it as cult meets forbidden romance, which... I can go for some of that. That sounds actually really interesting and it's a really small book as well. So I plan on reading this one in this month as well, as well as The Wife Stalker by Liv Constantine. I'm so excited to have my hands on this one because I loved The Last Mrs. Parrish. Loved it, would recommend it. But this is their newest release and oh, look at that cover, beautiful. So yeah. I'm so excited to read this one as well for the month of June. All right, guys, that is everything for this book haul. It's quite a bit of books. I can't wait to put them back on my bookshelf because you can tell there's some gaps and stuff like that. But anyways, let me know what your last purchase was and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. It's at readingwithjess underscore. And I guess until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>